Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is EKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love, episode 78. Let's go ahead and get started. And my baby duckling is here with me and he might get fussy because he's trying to poop. This is a very interesting picture. It's very seductive of you, Nuke. Ding! Oh! Whoa. Oh! He almost fell off the seat. Finally, an upload! Oh. Uh. Wait. Final chapter. The, the, the final chapter? Uh. No. That can't be. scrolling so fast cindy i loved you in the end gray died of breast cancer and thank you for supporting becoming the black rose girl of the sallies oh Ugh, dude the fact that she's in a hot nice hot bathtub right now i am so jealous because I can't wait until I'm fully recovered, like fully healed all over. And the doctor gives me the thumbs up that I can be in a tub. Ugh, I will enjoy it. Why isn't there a response? Visitor event. Pow Pow Hunt 88 is a winner. Publish. Wait, but I do, I know if 88 even read it. I think they're trying to say, but how do I, how do I know if, yeah, they put I, but I do, how, yeah, they forgot the word how. To find out if Pow Pow Han 88 read the final chapter. Oh, that's it. Today, total, 1,032. I checked the number of visitors right before I uploaded the last chapter. And because the number was at 1032 event, set visitor event, blog visits, 1033rd visitor, current, 1032, blog event results. Once the event ends, the result will be sent via a pop-up no notification. I set an event for visitors number 1033. And right after I uploaded the last chapter, ding! The winner. Pow Pow Han 88 is the winner. Just as I expected, Pow Pow Han 88 read it. But unlike before, when they would leave a comment, leave comments for each chapter, Pow Pow Han 88 did not leave any comments on the final chapter. Why didn't he leave any comments? Ugh. Was my theory that Pow Pow Han 88 is the, the Meringue CEO wrong? Was Pow Pow Han 88 just a normal reader? Oh, it's so fun, reader. BBRB. Huh? And the reason they didn't leave any comments and just left was because they were disappointed with the ending? <sighs> If that's not it, then the CEO of Moraine must be super pissed off. I will be so mad if what if any of my favorite reads ended the way that that did. Which there was like one, I think. It was like the the my cold hearted my cold blooded king or something like that. It's on webtoons, like never webtoons. It was going so well. The art is amazing. The storyline was going great in the beginning and the middle. And then towards the end, they keep on like doing plot twists, plot twists, plot twists. And then it ended. And I was like, what the freak did I just read? First, it was like a, a whole love triangle. And then it became a square. And boom. Ended. The girl just went with one of the guys. Like the, yeah. It is so dumb. So dumb. Ugh. I knew what I was doing. I considered this the kind of ending that might really piss a fan off when I wrote the final chapter. 
if Papa Han 88 really is the Meringue CEO, he would know that the final chapter is just a provocation. Provocation. If you don't like it, come find me. Is that her as of a fish? Oh my gosh. And surely there's an appropriate response to such a provocation. Well, me? I'm scared. But that's what I wanted. To do whatever I could to get a meeting with the CEO of Moraine. Phew. If I'm being honest, I'm very scared. But Yunyuk is waiting for me. So I have no choice. Hmm. I think this is unfair. In my opinion, it's, I'm not an outlier because of this and that reason, insert some rational explanation. My love points are not zero. I think there's a problem with the system. Somehow, I'm dressed like a career woman. So you can't kill me. You have no right to put Yunyuk in danger. Oh. Hmm. And why should I accept your request? Because if you do, I'll give you a proper ending to BBRV, becoming the Black Rose Girl of Versailles. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. If you do that, I will not lay a hand on you or Gnuke. <laughs> the nose. If I succeed in coming to an agreement, the drawing is so cute. Operation True Love, episode 78. Oh. I see two wine glass glasses and a bottle of whiskey and looks like a bottle of wine on the table right there oh. little clovers lucky cell phone charm luck will come to you Gift it to someone who needs luck on their exams, health, or life. I think stuff like that is so cute. It's a waste of money, to be very honest with you. It's buying, buying like knickknack stuff like this. I used to collect a lot of like charms, like um, key keychains and charms and stuff like that. But now I collect like just like something that I can put in my scrapbook that's flat, you know. But when people like guys especially gifts this to their girl i think it's so cute and so meaningful you know sue oh what's gonna give it to her then Bzz. Su sue shen wait just a little longer yunyuk i have good feeling <laughs> I feel like luck will come to me. <laughs> He's blushing. It will. I wish you luck. That is so cute. High school romance, guys. I'm way too old. But, man. I know the feeling. Now that I'm married and stuff, so... We still keep the spark, right? Guys, if you have, once you guys are engaged and married and have a family and stuff, remember to keep on continuing to date your spouse. He plunges. scared me. Uh, because, yeah, if you guys just focus on just raising the kid and not each, like, be there for each other and spoil each other and stuff like that, the relationship will die. And that's the thing I told my husband. Like, I don't want that. I want us to continue to... You know love each other spend time date you know we don't have to go out to eat but we can make food together and sit and talk or just like be next to each other you know 
that's me. I'm very simple. I'm not very like, oh, we got to go to a five star restaurant, you know. Maybe it's because I couldn't see her up close. I just saw her, but I already miss her. Click. Beep. Clunk. Huh? What happened to your face? Oh. The music competition is the day after tomorrow. Uh, why are you so nice? What? Are you still worried about me even now? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not worried about you. If you look like that, mom and dad will worry for sure. That's what I'm thinking about. I see. <laughs> that was it? Well, if that's it, you won't have to worry too much. What? Don't concern yourself with such useless thoughts. Oh, I hate this girl so much. Don't worry, I'll put ice on it. And if that doesn't work, I'll cover it up with makeup. Uh, oh. But you are nice. I'm not wrong about that. night she's such a weird person i'll be back all right owner of the dry cleaners oh i was like who's that uh, two suits five shirts one tweed jacket ding dong who is it i'm here to pick up your dry cleaning just a moment. All right. Clunk. Sorry, I wasn't told that what needed to be sent for cleaning. Could you come in and get it? Huh? Oh. 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 That's Ako Taco Day. Mm -hmm. I wonder now, because he's still wearing his helmet, if he would take off that helmet and be like, yo, what's up? Or would he be ashamed to show that Yun Yu that he works at the dry cleaners or something? Oh, okay. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. I'm sorry I had to upload, upload these reads as one episode at a time because I have my baby. I don't know when he gets fussy and when he does, I can't continue to the next chapter and post it until I finish that. So I'm doing it one episode at a time. But yeah. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.